Hey guys, it's Lexi, owner of Hair and Makeup by Underscore Fidella. Thank you so, so much for coming back to my channel. I want to give a quick shout out to my brother for making that awesome video intro. Anyways, this video I'm going to give a little bit of a trigger warning because I'm going to be talking about my journey with anxiety. Um, this might be a little bit harder of a video. It's not going to be a super upbeat one. But I feel like it's important to talk about and I want to give my voice to this part of my life. It has had a huge impact on me. So this video might be not as fun or energetic or as positive as some of my last ones. But I feel like it's an important talk to have. I started noticing that I had anxiety my freshman year of high school. That's when I started to notice that it was bad. Um, simple things like getting up to go throw away a piece of trash really felt like impossible to do in the middle of a class setting. I felt like I couldn't go do those things. Um, I was not outgoing in high school at all. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Um, it felt like a really big task to try to talk to even one of my classmates. Uh, and I started to notice that I was depressed, especially my freshman year when you still can't drive. And my parents were working a lot in the summer, so I was home all the time. And I was home by myself because my brothers are all older than me and they all had jobs. And my oldest brother had moved out already, so I didn't really have anyone to hang out with a lot in the summer and all my friends would be busy or they couldn't come over because they didn't have someone to drive them over here or they were doing their own stuff with their family so that's when I noticed my anxiety really started to be a huge point in my life and like I said that was my freshman year of high school. Sophomore year wasn't really much different than my freshman year um, but my junior and senior year were kind of on the bad side. I just noticed like my anxiety had gotten so much worse and my depression got so much worse. And in high school I did dance. And I would just be exhausted 24-7. I would want to go to dance, so I would go to dance. But then afterwards, I had some, I had many nights where I would come home and just like start crying to my mom because I was just so exhausted. I felt always exhausted and like I could sleep for forever and I would still be exhausted. I would get panic attacks a lot at night before bed and it would get so bad where I would start shaking. I couldn't breathe. I would have to heavy breathe. My senior year wasn't as bad as my junior year. Towards the end of my senior year it did start to get a little bit better. Um, I remember my senior year I had a writing a creative writing class and we had to one of our our final project was to write like a poetry book or we had like different options and I chose to write a poetry book because I love writing poetry and one day I'll share some of those poems that I wrote but that was a hard time in my life too and there were several poems that I wrote in there and I'm like how did my a uh, creative writing teacher not like go to the counselors and be like you might want to check in on this girl. I think more in high school it was more my depression than my anxiety but there was definitely still anxiety. There was a fear of like getting up to throw away my trash like I mentioned earlier. Um, talking to people. Um, I wouldn't look at anyone in the hallway like during passing period I would look down. I wouldn't like I couldn't look around at other people and I hated high school. I 
hated high school so much because I was like, what am I doing here when like, I know my future, I want to be a hairstylist and I didn't understand and I still don't understand why, like, I understand why I had to go to high school, but it just never was like fair to me that I knew what I wanted to do. I was not going to need any of these classes and... You know, you feel really judged in high school and I think you want one thing in high school or at least I wanted like someone to want me and now reflecting back on me in high school, I wish I wouldn't have focused so much on that. But I hated high school and I didn't really care about high school. I never cared about my ACT or SATs. I literally didn't try or study for them at all because I knew I wanted to do hair. So all I could ever think about was going to hair school. All I could ever think about was going to hair school. I wanted to go to hair school so bad and I like knew since sixth grade that that's what I wanted to do. So high school just felt really pointless and stupid for me and I didn't want to do it. And I think that that contributed to a lot of my anxiety and my depression that I was stuck in this place for eight hours a day and I did not want to be in there. And then my senior year, the friends I had started to kind of distance themselves from me and they started being friends with this other girl that was mean to me and would make things up and they seemed to always believe her over me. And then it felt like towards the end of my senior year, I only had anyone but my boyfriend. And it felt, I felt so alone. I felt like I didn't have anyone to sit with that lunch. I came home for lunch every day because I just, the friends that I did have weren't in my lunch period. And I just felt like so alone. And this was supposed to be my senior year. This was supposed to be a fun year. And while my dance life was great, um, some of my dance friends didn't go to my school or they were in the grade below me or they had their own set of friends at school. I just truly felt so alone. And I felt like I didn't fit in with anyone because I didn't want to party, I didn't want to drink, I wasn't super outgoing. And then on the other end of it, I wasn't like the other kids that were into different things than I was in. I was into hair and makeup and fashion and I like try hard for school every day. Like I would dress up for school literally like every day. I would do full face makeup every day and a lot of girls just didn't do that in high school. At least the high school I went to and I feel like nowadays it would even be different but like back then that wasn't a thing you did. You didn't do like most girls didn't do their makeup or if they did, it was like mascara. Definitely not as full face as some of them do now. I just felt like I got into makeup way earlier than the people in my school. Luckily, I had dance because that was an escape for me. And um, my senior year, I graduated at semester. So I graduated in December. And as soon as I graduated, it felt like a huge weight was just off my chest. I could just focus on dance and working part-time and saving up for hair school and just planning for that and getting excited for that. And that was very exciting for me. I could just focus on dance. But then um, dance came to an end because that was my senior year. So dance was kind of took, was taken out of my life. But then I started hair school and that kept me really busy and I was very like goal oriented during hair school. But during hair school there was times where I felt anxious and depressed and I was 
very stressed out because I was trying to make this scholarship at my hair school and you had to be very focused and I was very focused and I felt like a lot of the girls there weren't as focused as me and the girls that I did make there they wanted to go out and party and stuff and they were single and I was not single and I didn't want to party and stuff I wanted to get the scholarship I wanted to learn about hair and I wanted to be successful and not saying that those girls didn't want to be successful but I definitely took like a different path even in hair school and even there I had a few like friends but I never truly felt like I belonged in that atmosphere either um I always felt way more mature than the people around me and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I grew up with three older brothers and I've just always been more mature and I've always been able to relate to people that had that mindset of being more mature and wanting to go on their career path and I've always been very goal oriented and I've always just had so many different goals than the people around me's age. I always wanted to go to hair school and I had that set in my head since 6th grade that I was going to go there and I was going to get this scholarship, which I did end up getting, but that was a huge goal of mine and even now, like I want to buy a house, I want to have a successful career and I'm only 21 and I feel like a lot of the people my age are still working or going to college and they're just not on that path to where they could even buy a house or even start their career and I am very lucky that at a young age I can start my career and I can start working towards those bigger goals but like I fit in anywhere until my current job right now and Best Buy and of course both those places I've worked I work with a lot of older people and there's very few people my age but I feel happy there and I love my job now and I love the people that I get to work with and I love the people that I work with at Best Buy and and when I didn't have clients I had to work on mannequins so during hair school you have to have like a certain amount of mannequins that you like do different styles on and you have to have a certain amount by the time you graduate otherwise you can't graduate so since I was so busy in hair school I when I didn't have clients, I was having to do that. And I would go in the break room to eat lunch. Saturdays, most of the time, I didn't even get a lunch. Um, I was just so busy in hair school. So I felt like I never got to make like those close friendships that other people got to. I had like a group that I would hang out with and I would go like sit in their car with them on breaks and stuff. But I just was very focused in hair school on getting the scholarship and wanting to do that and I also had a boyfriend and a lot of the people there either didn't have a boyfriend or were going through breakups and wanted to be that single life that I just don't have and I wasn't going to do anything that my boyfriend or I wouldn't have liked my boyfriend to do so I, I wasn't going to do that to him. I wasn't going to go places that he that I if he would have been going to I wouldn't have liked so I just had to have that respect for him in the respect for our relationship and now I'm at Garbo's and I love it there and I love all my co-workers and I feel very proud of myself and where I've gotten at the age of 21 I mean like I still live at home but like I'm proud to say that I have like my career started and I never ever have to go back to school unless I want to then COVID hit And I felt so confused about what was going on in the world. I felt scared. And then it was like you couldn't hang out with anyone. And I was home a lot and I'm like still home a lot. But And I've always been more of an introvert. And I like knew, I know when to turn on my extrovert side. And I know how to be more extroverted than I ever used to be. But I still am more of like an introvert. And I would definitely like to be like in my bed. And watching a movie or just hanging out with friends like in my home or their home or whatever but when COVID hit 
it felt very over overwhelming. Everything you would see on Facebook was about COVID and then politics and it was just like I couldn't escape from COVID and like I had to talk about it with clients all day and then I would come home and I'd have to talk about it with my mom and dad and then like my brother and then it was just like this repeated cycle of people talking about COVID and my anxiety started to get so much worse this year and this year has been very hard with my anxiety and my depression And one day, I was driving to work and I felt out of my mind. Like I truly felt like I didn't have an identity. I, I was like questioning who I was. It really, it, really felt like I didn't I didn't have a personality I didn't I really truly felt like I didn't know who I was and I got to work and I got my first client and the whole time I felt like I was in a daze like I felt out of my own body like I like I really did I felt like I wasn't on earth it felt like one side of my brain was attacking the other side and it was not going to stop they were punching at each other and all I could focus about all I could focus was that my brain was fighting itself it felt like this hand took over my my brain and just it wasn't I wasn't gonna let go of it client and I still just felt out of my head and I truly felt like I was not there mentally at all. I felt like I was on another planet. I was hoping you would go away and I just kept trying to focus on the conversation and I, I just knew that I couldn't do the rest of the day. And my first client was just a haircut so I was begging and like pleading in my mind that, that this next client would not show up. And of course she did and she showed up early and I foiled that girl like the fastest I have ever foiled any of my clients ever put her under the heater and I went to talk, talk to my manager and I was like I have to leave I have to go I can tone my client but after that like I need someone else to sh to blow dry her and style her I just can't I have to go home and he looked at me and he's like, why, what's wrong? And I said, I am having overwhelming anxiety. And he said, about about what? And I said, it's just like literally everything. It's my whole life. And I almost started crying to him, but like it was, it felt like everything in that moment was like coming crashing down. Like my whole life was just like overwhelming. And it was, when I say it was everything, it was everything. It was everything. It was COVID, it was political, it was personal life stuff, like it was just everything and it felt like I had all this pressure on my shoulders and like I said it felt like one part of my brain was fighting the other part and I couldn't get silence, I couldn't get it to calm down I just had to be out of there and I could not I could not be in that environment I needed to be home then and this was in like August and then I went to the doctor and that's when I got put on Zoloft and I increased my therapy to once a week I was only going like once every twice a week or once every two weeks and like therapy since then has been hard since August like it's just I hate mental health and I wish it didn't exist and it's like that one thing that you can't get rid of like if you're overweight you can try to exercise and get that off if you like have diabetes because you're overweight like you can lose the weight and like it's like you can get rid of that anxiety is something that like you I'm gonna have to deal with this my whole life
and like you have to you have to like convince your mind and you have to learn new tricks to ease anxiety and like this is just something that I'm I'm gonna have to do with my whole life. <laughs> and like I feel like it makes me a better person in a in a way and like in a way I'm thankful that I have anxiety because like I feel like I'm such a more understanding person and I'm like such a caring person and I know like I'm a good person and I like know that and it just sucks that I will always have to have this demon yelling at me and some days it does feel like I literally have a demon in my head yelling at me to do this and to think about this and like it just wants to worry about all the little details 24 7 but thankfully being on Zoloft like I have found some peace and I have I do get more like moments where I don't have anxiety but that first week when you get on anxiety meds it's crazy like I had moments where I felt like I was high and I like that I was like definitely sober but it felt like I was like high I didn't I I like I said I felt like out of my body for like a week after I started taking it but I increased my therapy and I do feel better now and in some weird ways I am thankful for it but it is hard and there are difficult days and just know you are not alone I just hope that me sharing this will help someone and I hope that it gives I want to give my life a more of a purpose and I hope that this helps and I hope someone makes it makes them feel less alone that they can hear me say this and if I have any clients that are anxious like I just like want them to feel like if they have to come in and sit in my chair and not talk that's okay they don't have to talk sometimes talking is overwhelming and, and I don't want any of my clients to ever feel like they have to talk in my chair if you're having a bad anxious day and you just need to sit there and get your hair done and feel good about yourself at the end of the day that's all that matters to me that's all I want so I hope this video has helped in some sort of way for some people I hope it gives me a spotlight to be a voice for those who don't have one but if you ever ever need someone to talk to or listen to please feel free to message me like I don't I would love to hear you talk if that's what you need or just someone to listen to